Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Like, you know I'm down for a good fighting organization. You know, they got UFC out there. They got whatever, the WBA, which is like the World Boxing Association. You like to slap box. They even though. got slap boxing That now. is not combat. That is just... Idiots slapping each other really yeah, hard in the that's face. that's head trauma 101. <laughs> they got a new one. Oh, God. Is it nut kicking? I swear to God, if it's freaking <laughs> nut kicking, I'm going to turn the video that, off. That would be insane. No. It is the PFC. Wait, I want, hold on, hold on. I want you to try to figure it out before I tell you. PFC. Personal fan combat. I'll tell you the C is championship. So, championship. Personal. So, so PF, what does that stand for? Pretty face champion. The prettiest faces battle it, battle it out. No. Face off. <laughs> it's Nicholas Kitt just taking his face off. <laughs> First one to take your face off loses. First one to lose their head. It I is, don't know. I don't know. What could it, it is. What could it be? The, the F stands for fight. <laughs> Blank fight championship. Okay, come on. Let's <laughs> give it to it's been too I don't care. I don't know. They'll tell me what it is. Pillow. Okay. Pillow fight championship. Okay. Wait, how, and, how do and you these win? Dudes get a pillow with like a handle on the end. Okay. And huh? they literally like swing it at each other and try to knock each other out with it. Knock each other out? Like or? it's like boxing, but with a pillow. You try to knock someone but, out yeah, with like a you pillow. Fight them. Like you can go, I mean you can go try to find the website. It's I'm not going to do that. But on like, video. it's like big hits and highlights of 2023 from the PFC championship. So, uh, all right. All right. So wait, who's doing this? Who's, who's, the I don't provider? know. Who, but probably Dana White. Oh God. I, hate I know Dana it, it, it White, dude. But, yeah. PFC. I hate Dana White though. You got to put pillow. You think that I do have to. Yeah. Pillow <laughs> fighting championship. Yeah. So if you're on the YouTube channel, we're gonna put some video, some face. We're not gonna, you know. Have so you seen any of this? I've not watched. I've watched like a twenty second clip. That's how I found what it. What did you? What did you think? It looked insane. Yeah. So. Yeah. All so right, we're gonna. Yeah, so cool. oh, they got women. Yeah. Oh, so it's just people hitting each other. So what is in these pillows? I'm wondering. It's they probably have like just like a pillow, dude. It's they Bro, put bar- if it's just they, a they pillow. put bars of soap in it. This is what I'm. This is. Don't get caught napkin napping. I mean, ah, uh, get it. I so do, I get it. So yeah, they got women. They got dudes. Like, bro, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, the women get pink pillows, of course. Like, are they literally trying to knock each other out, or is it about getting scoring hits? Because I think it's. I think it's like a fu- like a fight. Because I'm looking, and it looks like it comes to a decision. Well, to I mean, a I mean, extent. how are you gonna knock somebody out with cotton? That's what I'm saying. So it has to be about like just like technique. Well, but I mean, it's still getting... you can still get knocked out. Like, <laughs> look at my dude's freaking winded off of a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 so, no. Um, I don't think there's gonna be knockouts from this event. You don't think you get knocked out from a pillow? If like I, I feel like if you get knocked out from a pillow, the injury that you received is greater than if you had got knocked out by a blunt force <laughs> object. I do, I do. I feel like a blunt force, like a fist, is going to knock me out way easier than a pillow would. If I get knocked out from a pillow, I'm probably going to – I have internal bleeding. That's what I think at that point in time. Maybe they have like a five-pound weight inside it. And now you're talking about just gladiators trying to kill each other. And I feel like that's the trend that we're heading to in America if we let Dana White continue to have his way. I mean, slap fighting – it's very close. Oh, it's insane. It's very close to just gladiatorial combat. Dude, like just standing with your arm, like you're literally arms. And if you flinch, you lose. You can't flinch. You got to let him just smack you in the face. And remember, Jonas, I brought to you the story that they were actually bringing your your steroid your games. steroid Olympics. Enhanced games, baby. Let's it, go. It is really getting to the point where we do not care about people's well-being over entertainment. Oh no! I mean, they exploit football players and NBA players now. So let them just juice it up, dude. They let do, them but do they it. pay them well. You really think that pillow fight Frankie over here is getting paid? Dude, billion, I bet the millions slap of dollars fight guys year? get like twenty bucks. This is what I'm saying, and man. Like, they get paid less than the WNBA, and we're gonna we're gonna cheer this? No, I oof. 
Man, I don't think that slap boxing is the right way to go about it. I thought you'd be all on board for that. It looks you... very traumatic to brains. Uh, Yeah. It's like... Concussion it, simulator? It, it... Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it really is. That's exactly what I was going to say. It looks like it's just concussions. <laughs> Who can get concussed the worst? It really is, And, like, man. you can't... you got to slap with the palm, too. So it's almost like they're getting punched in the face. So you're just, like, using the, the palm and hitting them right in the jaw. Like... Dude, fake tan hands in a hoop. I I just I I really don't I don't know if I like it, man. But you know, maybe that's just a sign that I'm getting old, and the younger generation just doesn't really care about people as much. Uh, this and you're music gonna, is not the same it was when I was a boy. I, I guess so, man. Maybe I'm behind in the times, but it it just seems like it seems nuts to me. Like we we fight so hard to get people, like to to build unions to get uh proper wages delivered to individuals and promote safety on jobs and then you have industries like slap boxing or the job is literally getting a concussion and on the same note man it took forever for ufc to get to the point because people used to think that ufc was too violent oh yeah they also had a lot less rules back then but yes yeah, it's it's very funny. I watched the interview with Dana White. He did uh he did Flagrant too. I watched that and he was talking about when he first was trying to get funding for it that nobody believed in him. Oh, no, no, he couldn't get any He used to have to have it in like Ukraine and shit yep. because nowhere would let him host events except yeah. for like countries that don't really like third world countries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people to, thought it was too to, violent. To be to a certain, honest, it though, yeah. it, you, there used to be no weight classes, and yeah. the only thing you couldn't do was like kick people in the nuts. Like you could kick people in the head when they're on their knees, elbow them in the back you, of the head. You could do all. So, yeah. You it was brutal, but yeah. like. Yeah, and you get like so, a four hundred pound dude versus like a hundred pound dude. So very funny. They added restrictions and regulations and things that promote safety, and it takes off. Right. Exactly. So people don't want to see people die on camera. No, they don't. There's a good chance you're going to see somebody die on camera at the slap boxing thing. Oh my god! I, I mean, really think they, that because dude, because when they get hit and they go out, they literally just like it's like lights out and they just like yeah. and they have like people there to catch them so they don't hit their head on the ground. But like they don't get everybody. No, nah, man. Like that, it, that somebody's gonna die. If you have to have people standing there to catch you because you get blackout and you fall, you getting hit too hard in the head. Yeah, and then you're coming back next week to do it again. The fuck? <laughs> later that night, bro. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, your brain ain't even healed. Yeah, it's, it's somebody's gonna die on camera from that, man. That that is it's not gonna last long. I don't think that the steroid Olympics is gonna last long. Somebody's gonna die on camera. Um. <laughs> Oh my god! It's gonna be a ray gun situation. One person's gonna show up. They're not gonna know what they're gonna do. They're gonna die on camera, like ray gun. And then, oh it's my gonna be god! Did you see that? <laughs> I was gonna talk about that, but we already covered the Olympics. I in, so. Like I saw, there's a whole scandal where like there wasn't a committee, and her and her husband started the break committee in Australia, and like oh, it was a bunch wow. of people she knew, and no one else applied, so she basically just got to go to the Olympics. That's how that yeah, all happened. Yeah. She has a PhD in it though, in dance culture <laughs> <laughs> you can, there's book smart and there's street smart she's definitely book smart bro she knew what she was doing she that brought was, creativity to the event that was so good <laughs> i'm glad i got to bring that up yeah. i forgot all about it until like i had Friday. it but it was like it was too dated yeah, by now. we yeah. already did an olymp episode but so. it was really it was really funny uh, but yeah, so I don't know, man. It, like, what's the next step? What are we doing next? We got pillow. Pillow fighting actually seems safer if it's just about like technique and getting hits. I kind of like that. It's almost like fencing where you really can't get hurt, but obviously where, you know, you're using like the weapon. It's like, I want to see people take their bare knuckles, Jonas, tape them up, Jonas, dip them in glue, We're dip, not, them in, dip them in glass. This is not blood sport. <laughs> you are not Jean-Claude. <laughs> We're not doing that, all right? This is not... There if was he another dies, movie. He dies. There. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they do that in Ong Bak, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ong they Bok. tape it up, dip it in hot oil, dip mm. it in glass. Yeah. Fire, lava. Screws. Feces. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Yeah. You go, yeah. Give him infection. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is where we're going, man. Feasy but maybe knives. I'm old. Am I old and busted? Or, or, or do, I, or do <laughs> we make I sense? old and busted? Or do we make sense? Uh, you, you tell me. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Let's get some millennials and some. Well, no, what are they? Let's <laughs> get some millennials. Some millennials. <laughs> Is it millennials? Gen Zs. Yeah. What's Gen the, Z Boston a mini? Gen Z Boston a mini. What's the one under them? The one under the them. The newest one. 
Uh, Gen Z isn't the youngest kids anymore. That's new product in a trench. No, uh, there's Zen. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, know. something. I don't know. Ah. Anyways. Scared the shit out of me. There was a fly or something. Holy shit. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. So. Never seen you in like legitimate fear. <laughs> That's all the time we have. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. It's not becoming of you, sir. <laughs> TNT. We out. <laughs>